Hello dear friends, in our previous videos, we have discussed about the external features of viscolidome, its digestive system, respiratory system, a structure of heart and brain. In this video, we begin to discuss about the male urinogenital system and female reproductive system of viscolidome. So let's start from what is urinogenital system. This urinogenital system is made up of from two words, urino and genital. Urino means excretory and genital means reproductive. In the case of vertebrates, both excretory and reproductive systems are very closely related with each other. And that's why we study both this topic in urinogenital system. The scolodon sexes are separate, means there is different male and female individual, and scolodon shows sexual dimorphism, means we can able to easily identify between male scolodon and female scolodon. As we know, in the case of male scolodon, a intromitted organ clasper is present near the pelvic fit. The scolodon are over vivipirus means they directly give birth to the young ones. So let's start and see male urinogenital system of scolodon. The male urinogenital system of scolodon is divided into two parts, excretory system and reproductive system. First of all, we discuss about the excretory system. Excretory system is the system which removes the nitrogenous waste material from the body. In the case of vertebrates, the excretory organ consists of a pair of kidney. In the case of viscolodon, it is mesonephric type. This kidney is ribbon-like structure and it is attached to the dorsal body wall. And it nearly extends whole length of the body cavity. This kidney is divided into two parts, anterior kidney and posterior kidney. The anterior kidney is non-functional and the posterior kidney is functional. This anterior kidney having the ducts of male reproductive system, that is vast difference. So it's non-functional and do not participate in the excretion. But the posterior kidney is the functional kidney and it is opistonephric type. This posterior kidney having uriniferous tubules. This uriniferous tubules having the bunch of capillaries called as glomerulus and a C-shaped Bowman capsule, which is extended to form a tubule, which contain urea secretory cells. This tubule join to form a collecting duct. All the collecting duct of the uriniferous tubules join to form ureter. This ureter come down and join open into urinogenital sinus. This urinogenital sinus open into cloaca in urinogenital papilla. So in the case of excretory system of scolodon, the anterior kidney having the duct of reproductive system. So the excretory system is associated with the reproductive system. And that's why we study both this topic together in male urinogenital system. If we talk of and the scolodon is ureotelic, means the main nitrogenous waste material is urea in the case of scolodon. If we talk about the reproductive system in scolodon, the reproductive system consists of gonads called as testes. So there is a pair of testes. This testes. It attached to the body wall by double fold of peritoneum called as mesoarchium and supported by rectal gland, which is non glandular. These testes are the factory of male gametes, spermatozoa. They contain seminiferous tubules. This synthesizes male gamete spermatozoa by reduction and division meiosis. These testes extend about to form vas differentia. This vas differentia form vas difference or Wolfram duct which is present in the anterior kidney. This one Wolfram duct or vas difference come down and near the posterior kidney they form a extended structure, a swollen structure called a seminal vesicle. This seminal vesicle store the spermatozoa. And this vas differentia and vas difference secretes 
nutritional fluid or the spermatozoa the seminal vesicles open into the intromitted organ called as clasper this clasper having apopyle and hypopyle and this clasper which is a intromitted organ of scolodon it is present near the pelvic fin this clasper deposit the spermatozoa in the cloaca of the female there is one more structure called as sperm sac of unknown function so in the male reproductive system of scolodon consists of a pair of testes which is the male gonad and it it is called as a factory of the sperms or a spermatozoa it synthesizes the male gamete by meiosis and the process is called as spermatogenesis after the formation the sperms goes to vas deferentia and then vas deferens and then go to seminal vesicle where they stored the function of the seminal vesicle is to store the sperms or the spermatozoa and this vas deferentia and vas deferens they secretes the nutritive fluid for the spermatozoa and this clasper which is the intromitted organ in the case of scolodon is used to transfer the male gamete into the cloaca of the female if we see the female reproductive system of scolodon and if we first of all discuss the excretory system the here also it consists of a pair of kidney the kidney are again divided into two parts anterior kidney and posterior kidney this anterior kidney in the case of female reproductive system do not having the duct of reproductive system and that's why here we are discussing about female reproductive system because the anterior kidney do not have the duct of reproductive system of female but the anterior kidney here is also non functional it is reduced and the anterior and the posterior kidney is the functional kidney here here we can see it consists it contains uniferous tubules as and the structure is same as we have discussed in the case of male and this uniferous tubules is open to this ureter this ureter come down and join to form a common duct and this common duct open into the urinary papilla if we talk about the reproductive system in female the reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries which is the female gonad this ovaries is attached to the body wall by double fold of peritoneum called as meso mesovarium in the case of male it is mesoarchium and in the case of female it is mesovarium this ovary is supported by this epigonal organ epigonal organ support this ovary above the ovary there are oviducal funnel this are the oviducal funnel which are funnel like structure or open mouth like structure this oviducal funnel come down to form oviduct this oviduct extend and form a swollen structure called as shell gland this shell gland come down and form a swollen structure called as uterus and this uterus open come down and both the uterus join to form a common duct which open into the vagina and vagina open into the cloaca the first part in the female reproductive system are a pair of ovaries this ovaries which is called as a female gonad produce the female gametes called as egg or ova by the process of oogenesis so here we can see in the diagram in the slide that there are eggs or ova which is produced by the process of oogenesis that is again by the reduction division meiosis this ovary releases the eggs that egg come to the body cavity and there are oviducal funnel which is open mouth like a structure the oviducal funnel which is the second part having cilia and the beating of cilia attract the egg inside this oviducal funnel so this egg come inside this oviducal funnel and it start its journey down the oviducal funnel to the oviduct which is the third part so this egg the function of the oviducal funnel is to collect the egg which is releases by the ovary in the body cavity and this egg 
collected from this oviducal funnel come down to oviduct and then to shell gland. The fertilization takes place between this oviducal funnel and the shell gland. Means here, the fertilization takes place. Fertilization means the union of the male and female gamete is called as a fertilization. So the fertilization takes place between this oviducal funnel and the shell gland. The shell gland secretes a thin membranous lining over the fertilized egg. Then the egg comes down, the fertilized egg comes down and it be, now it called it as a zygote. It comes down and it gets implanted in the uterus. And this both uterus. So in uterus, implantation and development of the embryo takes place. As this scolodon is over viviparous, the development of the embryo takes place inside the body of the female and the female directly give birth to the young ones. And this uterus, they join, both the uterus, they join to form a common uterus which open to the urinary papilla, which open to vagina and vagina open to the cloaca. If we talk about a reproductive system in a comparatively study, means if we compare the both the male and female reproductive system in the case of Escolodon, what is the difference is that in the case of male, the anterior kidney holds the duct of reproductive system. And that's why we have studied male urinogenital system. In the case of female, the anterior kidney do not have the duct of reproductive system. That's why we have studied female reproductive system. This is the first very important difference we find between the male urinogenital system and the female reproductive system in Escolidone. The second important difference, if we see this ureter, in the case of male, the ureter, both the ureter, a pair of ureter is there, both are they, they both open separately into urinogenital sinus. But in the case of female, both the ureter, they get joined to form a common duct. And this common duct open into the urinary papilla. So these are the difference between the male urinogenital system and the female reproductive system of the squalodon. And the squalodon is over VVPs, means it's directly given to the young ones. And it forms a yolk sac placenta. This yolk sac placenta we're going to discuss in detail in our next video. So thank you. The references which I used is Modern Textbook of Zoology, Multiplets by Ariel Kotpal, and Quadrate Zoology by E.L. Choi. So thank you very much for watching this video.